All righties. Welcome back to Whiskey With E. I'm Eric. Now today, we are going to continue with our blending experiments. So, for everyone that has been keeping up with what has been going on here on this channel, I have been getting into this creating this blend Citro. Now, I have filled this up with the bakers seven years you know that's after the whole 50 50 combo with the weller 12 and the woodford reserve very fine very rare now i've i've sampled some down i've re-topped it up with some of the uh let's just say that galloway pipes it's the uh, australian port that was from the 1990s as you can see there's really not much in there and I did take out some of these Australian red gum wood that was soaking in this. Now, keep in mind that was virgin red gum wood that I put in there. So it's like a, let's just say it's just been soaked in with the port. Alrighty, so I tipped in some. I've sampled some back down again. I've topped it up again with a little bit more baker's. Then I've kind of drank it down again. So you know what? Now I'm just thinking I'm going to have a taste. And maybe if need be, we have some fresh, you know, fresh Galway pipe, uh, pretty much that Australian tawny. Actually, let me, let me show you the bottle. So we're not all confused here. All right. Up, 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 up. Alrighty, so this is the bottle here of the Galway Pipe Yalumba Port. So the old bottling, as you can see here. Alrighty. So that's pretty much what's in this little bottle. I thought to myself, I wanted to add some more sweetness. But you know what? Let's have a little taste first and see what's going on here. And then you know what? We might just start a fresh blend as well but we may use some of this into that blend if that makes sense i'll show you what i mean when we get there trust me guys th this is not edited this is not scripted i'm just going with the flow all right wow that red gummy note is really shining at the moment but there is still that pd smoky element there so i do really want to you know maybe even add some more of that lug of wool and special release 2022 in there that's what i mean this this is interesting in itself but i think i want to make a fresh little blend in a bottle and actually put the tape on it so it's going to be more measured out but um here we go let me have a sip If you nose this, you're going to think it's really woody, very tannic, but let's have a taste. Hmm. That's actually pretty good. You think it's going to be overly red gummy, but honestly... It just reminds me of a well-aged bourbon, like it's sweet oakiness. And that finish just goes on and on. But you know what? We're going to sit this up for a sec, and we're just going to start a fresh blend. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to use a 100ml bottle. We may even add some of that in, like as a secret ingredient component or something. But let's just say we are going to use this. Oh my goodness, where is the pieces of paper? Oh, my goodness. Oh dear. All right, I need to find that. Uh, I need to find the, the, the sticker things. Hold on, two secs, guys, two secs. We're going to have to, we're going to use this bottle. So look, there is a little bit of that port left in here. This is what I originally put the port in. But let me find the sticker things because once I pour it in, I'm going to need to put the sticker there to know the measurements, alrighty? So, bear with me, bear with me. Here we go. We found the stickery things. Now, there's only two and a half bits left. So, you know what? 
we're gonna work with that we're gonna work with that bear with me guys i am totally unorganized right now but let's get this cork open pause for the empty bottle cork pop bit of a splash there in it all righty here we go so i am going to start off essentially with maybe some weller 12. honestly i really wanted to just keep this bottle sitting here on the shelf but you know what for blending experiment sakes honestly maybe do this with more readily available cheaper bottles you know what i mean it yeah you know you it might break your heart more if it doesn't turn out as good as the individual components but that's not going to happen have a little faith in my master blending Alrighty, so the weller 12 is the first component we are going to put in all righty here we go and then we're gonna measure out that where where the fuel line is so we're going to put the tape in Oh my goodness. Uh, all right. That is enough well at 12. Oh my goodness. First component. All right. Mental note, guys. Mental note. First component done. So you know what? Let's just put this cork on there for now. So then we're going to grab this tape. All right. So let me just grab this tape. All right. Not really tape, but you know what I mean. This little sticky thing. Now you want to, technically, you want to have it really steady. So, oh my goodness. Maybe I've got to move this. Oh my goodness. I am so unorganized right now, guys. I hope that doesn't spill all over the PowerPoint. Okay, we're going to set this down here. Alright, it's set down. It's going to be level. So then now we're just going to put the top of the fuel line. To that line so i'm going to make a mental note that i'm measuring it from the top boom uh oh well that doesn't help first sticker all right it doesn't help that it doesn't feel very sticky at all. It feels like it's about to fall off, to be perfectly honest. But, all right. First fuel, Weller 12. We're going to eventually write Weller 12 on that. All right. Now, let's find another component. So, so essentially, I used to do this with, you know, like maybe my old uh, Master's Keep bottles. I used to like to make full blends, but obviously we have minimal components left at the moment so bear with me we're making a little 100 mil blend but this is just an example guys of what you can do in your home you know blending and experimenting so second component so essentially this is kind of like the blend that we're doing with the the batch number three blend i call it all right with all that uh the isla wood and you know, the, et cetera, et cetera. Right? But let's just say this is how it all started. All right, so we put some Weller. I mean, I might not go 50-50 because I, I don't really want to use all of this. But pause for the cork pop. Oh, my goodness. You know what? I actually feel like some of this. All right, there's some Weller 12 in there at the moment. And ignore that dirty glass. Oh my goodness, it just made it so dark straight away. That's why you can tell there is some of that 17 year in this, which actually does shine. All right, now we're going to add in some of this Woodford Reserve Very Fine Rare Bourbon. Buzzwords, buzzwords. All righties. You know, maybe I, I've got to face it this way so I can see what's going on, but here we go. Woodford Reserve, the series number 16 from 2020. Here we go. And normally, if you want to be real precise, you can use like a measuring, you know, like the things that you use for medicine. But let's just say um, I'm winging it. Oh my goodness. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Oh, that's enough. Oh my goodness. 
Oh dear. And you know what the bad thing is? I'm going to be sipping something out of this, I think. And then all of a sudden that fill line is going to come back down. Alrighty, so now we've filled it up to this point. So now you kind of want to get another sticker, alright? Without spilling what's in here. Maybe we got to wipe this, you know, it might be a little bit wet. Here we go. Don't spill it now. This is not sticky at all, guys. This is so terrible. I might need to just put some sticky tape over this. All right, here we go again. We're going to put it here so that the level, the level has to be flat, you know, so then we can actually see. All right. Boom. Okay. So the top of that label, well, a 12, top of this label was the Woodford Reserve. Buzzwords, buzzwords. All righty. Now, next component, we are going to add in some extra proof. Now, this is a little bit of a concern because I'm, I'm kind of even thinking like, I wonder if it's been tainted by the cork. You know, there was a little funkiness in this, but you know what? We've come this far, so here we go, guys. Baker's 7 Year 107. Let's see. Here we go. All right, here we go again. Here we go again. Uh oh. And that is pretty full. I kind of do want to add in some of that the the uh the third batch blend but you know what i mean that might actually make things a whole lot more complex that's gonna you know what i mean it's a little bit hard to explain what's in that blend but then again some distilleries aren't as transparent you know what i mean like like that bardstown they're transparent guys you know like with their what is it discovery series or that you know maybe they actually say 30% of this or 20% of that, you know, seven year bourbon or 13 year bourbon. They probably even have the mash bill and what char they use. So all that, I love transparency, you know? So I like to be as transparent as I can be, but let's just say for, for science and just me giving you an example of how I create random blends. I mean, this is just a, little experiment right here guys but you know what i mean like normally i might even want to add in some of that on top i kind of do feel like doing that to be perfectly honest it is unique in a special kind of way but let's give it a little here we go now technically you want to wait for this to do its chemical thing you know let it Merry up, let it mingle, you know what I mean? So, make a mental note, because I did fill it up to here, but obviously I am going to most likely pour some into a glass and give it a try. But uh, we'll let that sit for a moment. Mm. Experimental blending, see? See, look. Now, if you wanted to make something like, for example... Oh my goodness. I, I think I've already showed you guys the bottle. Uh, 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 all right. The Jim Beam small batch. This is the one where it says finished with tawny. Now, essentially you can do the same thing. So you have some, like uh, I'm saying maybe don't use cheap tawny. You know, it really does come out acidic. And it really does give this, I don't know, I, I don't like the, the feeling that it gives on the palate. And it kind of brings out something that is a little bit too overpowering. Kind of like that bottle. I think they just use not good quality tawny and, you know, just add it in some Kentucky straight bourbon, you know. But if you use good tawny, it's going to be a lot more subtle. It's not going to overpower it. Like, you don't want a finish that is 
overpowering and it's just one note dominant all right you want it to accompany all the other notes so we're going to hold off on that either way but but before we try it let's have a little taste of the woodford reserve very fine rare bourbon buzzwords buzzwords with the little hint of the weller 12 in there all right oh my oh my goodness hold on all right welcome back all right my bad okay back to this tasting note here we go all right so pretty much at the moment this is so sweet it's so vanilla it's so straightforward oh oh my goodness sorry there must be voices in the background i might pause this for now Uh oh i'll pause it for now there's too much voices in the background sorry guys all righty let's have a taste guys so pretty much the vanilla the caramel is popping like like that's what i mean essentially this is a very sweet bourbon but it's got that rich hold on hold on it, it it's actually very oaky oh my goodness can you guys hear the voice in the background i'm so sorry i need to pause this right now my apologies people i hope you don't hear uh, that shaving machine in the background but um there we go it is what it is uh, all right let's have this taste oh my goodness production issues you know it's almost like people were about to walk into the studio i had to pause it anyways all right here we go Mm. Oh. honestly it is beautiful it's just a little bit low proof for my liking ah oh, but but honestly it's finesse it's 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 good in a delicate way guys like you could get that age in there you got that sweet vanilla caramel goodness the oaky presence is there but you know what maybe to get an idea of how that blend is going we can add a splash of the oh my goodness the bakers did we just angle did it just move it sure did didn't it all right here we go it is just a little bit left in there but we can just add a little drop there we go all right all right here we go so adding in the 107, it's going to bring up that proof a bit, but I hope that random earthy, fruity funkiness isn't going to do some funky things to this, but here we go. Nah, it's still predominantly very oaky, very, very sweet oak. And yes, you are getting a slight roasted peanut note in the background. But still very fruity. You know what? Let's have a taste, guys. Cheers, everyone. Drink responsibly, everyone. Who enjoys blending? Let me know what you guys blend. Let me know what your combos are or what you've been experimenting with. Do you like to just put all that your leftover bottle kill video I mean bottle kills into your infinity bottle or do you start blending at the start let me know in the comments i think it all it brought out more orange pure notes and yes that that roasted peanut note kind of coming out more but if you're a if you like that nutty profile, then you're probably going to like this. Mm. But you know what? For science, let's actually pour up some of this. Take a mental note. It was filled to here. I'm going to pour some out. It's going to be down again. But we are going to top it up with the uh, batch number three blend. All right. Mm. Essentially, maybe you want to be cleansing your palate too with some water. Oh my goodness. How long has this water been here in this room? I don't even really want to... 
Too late. All right. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, I don't think that's a fresh water, but <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Live, unedited, unscripted. You know how it is. All right. So now the fuel line has been taken down to here. All right. Let's put the cork back on. And then we are most likely going to stick in some of that other blend. But before we do, let's have a taste. Oh, beautiful. Oh, honestly, that's better than the Weller 12 by itself. And maybe that extra proof point from the 107, like I can feel it. It is probably maybe even better than the Woodford Reserve, very fine, very rare by itself. Mm. But you know what? Let's grab this. And let's extract out some. I hope this does not destroy the blend that we've just made. So I'm going to use this measuring thing. So you know what? Let's do it. All right. I can't even see how many mils that is. I mean, the the thing's all gone. But here we go. We're going to continue anyway. Here we go. Well, all right. Here we go, guys. This video may cut out at any point in time. But here we go. We're adding in the secret component. Oh, it takes it up at least. You know what? Let's fill it all the way. There's a little splash left in there. That's all right. All right. Maybe this cork isn't even going to fit in there. You know what? Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you do this, guys. But you know what? Let's pour some out and let's have a taste. Here we go. Okay. Ah, oh, it got more red gummy notes. You know, it became more oaky purely because of all that experimenting that we're doing. Oh, that's good. The secret ingredient. There you go. Anyways, cheers, everyone. Tune back in for some more blending experiments. I mean, we are going to continue with this. Is this even perfect enough? I don't even know. Maybe I want to actually add in some of that Isla 2022 special release from Lagavulin just to give it that extra smoke, gives it that more age component. But cheers, everyone. Oh, mm. oh, oh, that is better. That extra red gummy component, guys, it just gives it a more oaky vibe. So if you like a more well-aged bourbon, then you're going to get that impression. And honestly, I think the finish is a lot longer because of that extra wood finishes. Oh my goodness, this is all right, guys. Mm. 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 You know what? While we're at it, let's add in some of that Lagavulin 2022 special release. All right, let's go. All right. Oh, pause the video. All right, so essentially, you know what? You guys seen it. It was filled up. I kind of had a sample, you know, this is why it used to get so detailed, you know, you, you have all these markings on the bottle and you'd be like, I drank it down to this much. I topped it up with this and then I filled it up with this. And you know, there, there's all these little notes on the bottle until I feel that it's right. And then I seal it. But you know what, we're going to add in some of this peaty, smoky Lagavulin 2022 special release. Now don't, ever add in too much of this because it is going to be overpoweringly smoky but we're just going to add a few drops all right guys even that even that guys all righties all right mix it up we go here we go guys all righties i blended it but you know what i'm deciding i'm not even going to have a taste yet I'm just going to add in some of this 1990 port. 
into it, you know, we're going to count it as it's like a port barrel, you know, extra finishing sort of thing like that. You know, you're not going to count this as a, you know what I mean? Like, a, it's not going to influence it that much, guys. But tune back in for part two of this blend number four. All right, is on the future video, let's just say like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you do these experiments. My apologies if everything is a little bit delayed and my lips aren't in sync with my vocals because something is going on with the camera right now. All right, is I'm going to seal this kind of because it is a little bit full. I can't even push it all the way in, but that's enough to make it me go like this. You know what? Let's give it a taste. Because it's a little bit too full to put the cork in. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. Alright. Blend number four. Oh. Ah, oh, there is the sweet. There is that aged element. There is the red gumminess. There is the smokiness from the Isla. There is that oh, that intermingling sweetness from the port in there. But it's all about the taste. Here we go. Cheers, everyone. Drink responsibly. Yep, that port isn't too overpowering. You know, like like I said, you're going to get that influence of port if you put too much port in there. Like, like honestly, like this bottle, it's just one note. It's just too much port in with the Kentucky. We don't want to do that. That is good. I wonder if someone tastes this blend, if they're going to enjoy it. I mean, I don't even know what you'd call it because... There's a bit of scotch in there. It's mixed with bourbon. It's got hints of the port in there. You know what I mean? But if you were like a distillery, maybe it would be different. Like you would have used these barrels. You would have maybe finished it first in an Isla barrel to get that smokiness. Then maybe you would have put it in a secondary maturation with an Australian tawny port. And then there you go. The labeling wouldn't have be much complex than how I'm trying to explain it. But anyways, yous have tolerated enough. Let's just say I am concluding this right now and uh, wishing yous all a beautiful weekend if I'm releasing this on the weekend. If so, happy Sunday, everyone. Much love to yous all. Let me know what your blends are. If you do do these experiments too, does it look like this or are you using like a... Oh my goodness. Or do you use a Heisenberg flask? I mean, if you have more bottlings, then obviously you could probably do this and measure it this way. You know what I mean? I think Nancy Fraley uses little uh, tubes. You know what I mean? Maybe you measure it that way. Make Try your blends. But <sighs> blending, guys, it's all a part of the whiskey journey. Definitely enjoy it. Definitely try it. If you have a bottle that you bought and you think you don't enjoy it, definitely try blend it with something that you enjoy. See if it makes it taste better, you know? Don't ever do what people say about drain pours. Don't ever waste your whiskey down the drain. You can make it taste better, guys. I mean, there may be some exceptions. Maybe some things is just that terrible that you don't really want to mix it in with anything. But obviously, if you're just buying available bourbon or available whiskies then it's not going to break your heart more like if you're using a weller 12 or a wood for reserve very fine very rare or something like this i'm just happy that this is kind of working out you know due to my past experience with these bottles i know how it's kind of working but anyways like comment subscribe i will catch you all next time drink responsibly and as always don't drink and drive ladies everyone